Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacle Math Mania. My name is Captainist123 and today we will be working on solving problems involving time. Isaiah had a test to do at 11.15 a.m. and it lasted 1 hour and 45 minutes. If he wants to watch a football match at 1.30 p.m., would he have finished in time? Well, firstly, we need to go forward by the number of hours. The test takes up 1 hour and 45 minutes. So let's look at the 1 hour. 11.15 a.m. plus 1 hour will take us to 12.15 p.m. Now we add on the minutes, which is 45 minutes. 12.15 p.m. plus 45 minutes takes us to 1 p.m. So if the test starts at 11.15 a.m. and finished 1 hour and 45 minutes later, the test finished at 1 p.m. Therefore, he can in fact reach home in time to watch the game that starts at 1.30 p.m. Let's look at another example. Isaiah has school at 7.30 a.m. every morning and he usually reaches a little late, but today he was 25 minutes early. At what time did Isaiah reach the school? So firstly, we must go backwards by minusing the number of minutes he was early by. If school starts at 7.30 a.m. and he was early by 25 minutes, we're going to take 25 minutes away from the 30 minutes. Therefore, Isaiah reaches school at 7.05 a.m. Let's look at this last example. Isaiah finished football training at 5 p.m. If football training is 1 hour and 30 minutes long, what time did his training start? Firstly, we must go backwards by minusing the amount of hours and then the number of minutes to find out what time the training started. If the football training ended at 5 p.m. and we go back by one hour, that takes us to 4 p.m. Don't forget the 30 minutes. So if we go back 30 minutes from 4 p.m., that takes us to 3.30 p.m. Therefore, Isaiah's football training started at 3.30 p.m. Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on Pentacle.com to earn points and win great prizes.